Iran has made considerable advances in science and technology through education and training, despite international sanctions in almost all aspects of research during the past 30 years. Iran's university population swelled from 100,000 in 1979 to 2 million in 2006. In recent years, the growth in Iran's scientific output is reported to be the fastest in the world. Iran has made great strides in different sectors, including aerospace, nuclear science, medical development, as well as stem cell and cloning research. Throughout history, Persia was always a cradle of science, contributing to medicine, mathematics, astronomy, and philosophy. Trying to revive the golden time of Persian science, Iran's scientists now are cautiously reaching out to the world. Many individual Iranian scientists, along with the Iranian Academy of Medical Sciences and Academy of Sciences of Iran, are involved in this revival. Topic: <laughs> Science in Ancient Iran, Persia. Science in Persia evolved in two main phases separated by the arrival and widespread adoption of Islam in the region. References to scientific subjects such as natural science and mathematics occur in books written in the Pahlavi languages. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Ancient technology in Persia. The kanat, a water management system used for irrigation, originated in pre-Achaemenid Persia. The oldest and largest known kanat is in the Iranian city of Gonabad, which, after 2,700 years, still provides drinking and agricultural water to nearly 40,000 people. Persian philosophers and inventors may have created the first batteries, sometimes known as the Baghdad battery, in the Parthian or Sassanid eras. Some have suggested that the batteries may have been used medicinally. Other scientists believe the batteries were used for electroplating, transferring a thin layer of metal to another metal surface. A technique still used today and the focus of a common classroom experiment, windwheels were developed by the Babylonians ca. 1700 BC to pump water for irrigation. In the 7th century, Persian engineers in Greater Iran developed a more advanced wind power machine, the windmill, building upon the basic model developed by the Babylonians. Mathematics <laughs> 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 The 9th century mathematician Muhammad ibn Musa al Khwarazmi created the logarithm table, developed algebra, and expanded upon Persian and Indian arithmetic systems. His writings were translated into Latin by Gerard of Cremona under the title, De Gebra e al Mukabola. Robert of Chester also translated it under the title, Liber Algebras e al Mukabala. The works of Khwarazmi exercised a profound influence on the development of mathematical thought in the medieval West. Other Persian scientists included Abu Abbas Fazl Hattam, the Banu Musa brothers, Farahani, Omar ibn Farrakhan, Abu Zaid Ahmad ibn Sohel Balki, 9th century AD, Abul Vafa Buzjani, Abu Jafar Khan, Bijan ibn Rostam Kuhi, Ahmad ibn Abdul Jalil Omi, Bu Nasser Aragi, Abu Rehan Baruni, the noted Iranian poet Hakim Omar Khayyam Nishaburi, Katan Marvazi, Masudi Ghaznavi, 13th century AD, Kajay Nasreddin Tuzi, and Giyaseddin Jamshidi Kashani. Topic. Medicine The practice and study of medicine in Iran has a long and prolific history. Situated at the crossroads of the East and West, Persia was often involved in developments in ancient Greek and Indian medicine. Pre- and post-Islamic Iran have been involved in medicine as well. For example, the first teaching hospital where medical students methodically practiced on patients under the supervision of physicians was the Academy of Gunsapur in the Persian Empire. Some experts go so far as to claim that, to a very large extent, the credit for the whole hospital system must be given to Persia. The idea of xenotransplantation dates to the days of Achaemenidae, the Achaemenian dynasty, as evidenced by engravings of many mythologic chimeras still present in Persepolis. Several documents still exist from which the definitions and treatments of the headache in medieval Persia can be ascertained. These documents give detailed and precise clinical information on the different types of headaches. The medieval physicians listed various signs and symptoms, apparent causes, and hygienic and dietary rules for prevention of headaches. The medieval writings are both accurate and vivid, and they provide long lists of substances used in the treatment of headaches. 
Many of the approaches of physicians in medieval Persia are accepted today, however, still more of them could be of use to modern medicine. In the 10th century work of Shahnameh, Ferdowsi describes a Caesarean section performed on Rudabay, during which a special wine agent was prepared by a Zoroastrian priest and used to produce unconsciousness for the operation. Although largely mythical in content, the passage illustrates working knowledge of anesthesia in ancient Persia. Later in the 10th century, Abu Bakr Muhammad bin Zakariya Razi is considered the founder of practical physics and the inventor of the special or net weight of matter. His student, Abu Bakr Jovani, wrote the first comprehensive medical book in the Persian language. After the Islamic conquest of Iran, medicine continued to flourish with the rise of notables such as Razas and Haley Abbas, albeit Baghdad was the new cosmopolitan inheritor of Sassanid Junsapur's medical academy. An idea of the number of medical works composed in Persian alone may be gathered from Adolf Fonan's Zur Quelenkunde der Persischen Medizin, published in Leipzig in 1910. The author enumerates over 400 works in the Persian language on medicine, excluding authors such as Avicenna, who wrote in Arabic. Author historians Meyerhoff, Casey Wood, and Hirschberg also have recorded the names of at least 80 oculists who contributed treatises on subjects related to ophthalmology from the beginning of 800 AD to the full flowering of Muslim medical literature in 1300 AD. Aside from the aforementioned, two other medical works attracted great attention in medieval Europe, namely Abu Mansa Muvafak's Materia Medica, written around 950 AD, and the illustrated Anatomy of Mansa ibn Muhammad, written in 1396 AD. Modern academic medicine began in Iran when Joseph Cochrane established a medical college in Urmia in 1878. Cochrane is often credited for founding Iran's first contemporary medical college. The website of Urmia University credits Cochrane for lowering the infant mortality rate in the region and for founding one of Iran's first modern hospitals, Westminster Hospital in Urmia. Topic Astronomy In 1000 AD, Biruni wrote an astronomical encyclopedia that discussed the possibility that the Earth might rotate around the Sun. This was before Tycho Brahe drew the first maps of the sky, using stylized animals to depict the constellations. In the 10th century, the Persian astronomer Abd al-Rahman al-Sufi cast his eyes upwards to the awning of stars overhead and was the first to record a galaxy outside our own. Gazing at the Andromeda galaxy he called it a little cloud, an apt description of the slightly wispy appearance of our galactic neighbor. Biology Chemistry Tuzi believed that a body of matter is able to change but is not able to disappear entirely. He wrote, A body of matter cannot disappear completely. It only changes its form, condition, composition, color, and other properties, and turns into a different complex or elementary matter. Five hundred years later, Mikhail Lomonosov (1711–1765) and Antoine Laurent Lavoisier (1743–1794) created the law of conservation of mass, setting down this same idea. However, it should be noted that Tuzi argued for evolution within a firmly Islamic context. He did not, like Darwin, draw materialist conclusions from his theories. Moreover, unlike Darwin, he was arguing hypothetically. He did not attempt to provide empirical data for his theories. Nonetheless his arguments, which in some ways prefigure natural selection, are still considered remarkably advanced for their time. Jabra ibn Hayyan, the famous Iranian chemist who died in 804 at Taos in Khorasan, was the father of a number of discoveries recorded in an encyclopedia and of many treatises covering 2,000 topics, and these became the Bible of European chemists of the 18th century, particularly of Lavoisier. These works had a variety of uses including tinctures and their applications in tanning and textiles, distillations of plants and flowers, the origin of perfumes, therapeutic pharmacy, and gunpowder, a powerful military instrument possessed by Islam long before the West. Jabir ibn Hayyan, is widely regarded as the founder of chemistry, inventing many of the basic processes and equipment still used by chemists today such as distillation. Topic. Physics 
Biruni was the first scientist to formally propose that the speed of light is finite, before Galileo tried to experimentally prove this. Kamal al-Din al-Farisi born in Tabriz, Iran, is known for giving the first mathematically satisfactory explanation of the rainbow, and an explication of the nature of colors that reformed the theory of Ibn al-Haytham. Al-Farisi also proposed a model where the ray of light from the sun was refracted twice by a water droplet, one or more reflections occurring between the two refractions. He verified this through extensive experimentation using a transparent sphere filled with water and a camera obscura. Topic science policy The Iranian Research Organization for Science and Technology and the National Research Institute for Science Policy come under the Ministry of Science, Research and Technology. They are in charge of establishing national research policies. The government first set its sights on moving from a resource-based economy to one based on knowledge in its 20-year development plan, Vision 2025, adopted in 2005. This transition became a priority after international sanctions were progressively hardened from 2006 onwards and the oil embargo tightened its grip. In February 2014, the Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei introduced what he called the economy of resistance, an economic plan advocating innovation and a lesser dependence on imports that reasserted key provisions of Vision 2025. Vision 2025 challenged policymakers to look beyond extractive industries to the country's human capital for wealth creation. This led to the adoption of incentive measures to raise the number of university students and academics, on the one hand, and to stimulate problem-solving and industrial research, on the other, Iran's successive five-year plans aim to realize collectively the goals of Vision 2025. For instance, in order to ensure that 50% of academic research was oriented towards socio-economic needs and problem-solving, the fifth five-year economic development plan 2010 -2015 tied promotion to the orientation of research projects. It also made provision for research and technology centers to be set up on campus and for universities to develop linkages with industry. The fifth five-year economic development plan had two main thrusts relative to science policy. The first was the Islamization of universities, a notion that is open to broad interpretation. According to Article 15 of the Fifth Five-Year Economic Development Plan, university programs in the humanities were to teach the virtues of critical thinking, theorization and multidisciplinary studies. A number of research centers were also to be developed in the humanities. The plan's second thrust was to make Iran the second biggest player in science and technology by 2015, behind Turkey. To this end, the government pledged to raise domestic research spending to 3% of GDP by 2015. Yet, R&D's share in the GNP is at 0.06% in 2015 where it should be at least 2.5% of GDP and industry-driven R&D is almost non-existent. Vision 2025 fixed a number of targets, including that of raising domestic expenditure on research and development to 4% of GDP by 2025. In 2012, spending stood at 0.33% of GDP. In 2009, the government adopted a national master plan for science and education to 2025, which reiterates the goals of Vision 2025. It lays particular stress on developing university research and fostering university industry ties to promote the commercialization of research results. Topic: Human resources. In line with the goals of Vision 2025, policymakers have made a concerted effort to increase the number of students and academic researchers. To this end, the government raised its commitment to higher education to 1% of GDP in 2006. After peaking at this level, higher education spending stood at 0.86% of GDP in 2015. Higher education spending has resisted better than public expenditure on education overall. The latter peaked at 4.7% of GDP in 2007 before slipping to 2.9% of GDP in 2015. Vision 2025 fixed a target of raising public expenditure on education to 7% of GDP by 2025. Topic: <laughs> Student enrollment trends. The result of greater spending on higher education has been a steep rise in tertiary enrollment. 
Between 2007 and 2013, student roles swelled from 2.8 million to 4.4 million in the country's public and private universities. Some 45% of students were enrolled in private universities in 2011. There were more women studying than men in 2007, a proportion that has since dropped back slightly to 48%. Enrollment has progressed in most fields. The most popular in 2013 were social sciences 1.9 million students, of which 1.1 million women and engineering 1.5 million, of which 373,415 women. Women also made up two-thirds of medical students. One in eight bachelor's students go on to enroll in a master's, PhD program. This is comparable to the ratio in the Republic of Korea and Thailand 1 in 7 and Japan 1 in 10. The number of PhD graduates has progressed at a similar pace as university enrollment overall. Natural sciences and engineering have proved increasingly popular among both sexes, even if engineering remains a male-dominated field. In 2012, women made up one-third of PhD graduates, being drawn primarily to health 40% of PhD students, natural sciences 39%, agriculture 33%, and humanities and arts 31%. According to the UNESCO Institute for Statistics, 38% of master's and PhD students were studying science and engineering fields in 2011. There has been an interesting evolution in the gender balance among PhD students. Whereas the share of female PhD graduates in health remained stable at 38-39% to between 2007 and 2012, it rose in all three other broad fields. Most spectacular was the leap in female PhD graduates in agricultural sciences from 4% to 33% but there was also a marked progression in science from 28% to 39% and engineering from 8% to 16% of PhD students. Although data are not readily available on the number of PhD graduates choosing to stay on as faculty, the relatively modest level of domestic research spending would suggest that academic research suffers from inadequate funding. The fifth five-year economic development plan 2010 to 2015 fixed the target of attracting 25,000 foreign students to Iran by 2015. By 2013, there were about 14,000 foreign students attending Iranian universities, most of whom came from Afghanistan, Iraq, Pakistan, Syria and Turkey. In a speech delivered at the University of Tehran in October 2014, President Rouhani recommended greater interaction with the outside world. He said that, scientific evolution will be achieved by criticism, and the expression of different ideas. Scientific progress is achieved, if we are related to the world. We have to have a relationship with the world, not only in foreign policy but also with regard to the economy, science and technology. I think it is necessary to invite foreign professors to come to Iran and our professors to go abroad and even to create an English university to be able to attract foreign students. One in four Iranian PhD students were studying abroad in 2012, 25.7%. The top destinations were Malaysia, the USA, Canada, Australia, UK, France, Sweden and Italy. In 2012, one in seven international students in Malaysia was of Iranian origin. There is a lot of scope for the development of twinning between universities for teaching and research, as well as for student exchanges. Topic. Trends in researchers According to the UNESCO Institute for Statistics, the number of full-time equivalent researchers rose from 711 to 736 per million inhabitants between 2009 and 2010. This corresponds to an increase of more than 2,000 researchers, from 52,256 to 54,813. The world average is 1,083 per million inhabitants. One in four Iranian researchers is a woman, which is close to the world average 28%. In 2008, half of researchers were employed in academia 51.5%, one-third in the government sector 33.6%, and just under one in seven in the business sector 15.0%. Within the business sector, 22% of researchers were women in 2013, the same proportion as in Ireland, Israel, Italy and Norway. The number of firms declaring research activities more than doubled between 2006 and 2011, from 30,935 to 64,642. 
The increasingly tough sanctions regime oriented the Iranian economy towards the domestic market and, by erecting barriers to foreign imports, encouraged knowledge-based enterprises to localize production. Topic research expenditure Iran's national science budget was about $900 million in 2005 and it had not been subject to any significant increase for the previous 15 years. In 2001, Iran devoted 0.50% of GDP to research and development. Expenditure peaked at 0.67% of GDP in 2008 before receding to 0.33% of GDP in 2012, according to the UNESCO Institute for Statistics. The world average in 2013 was 1.7% of GDP. Iran's government has devoted much of its budget to research on high technologies such as nanotechnology, biotechnology, stem cell research and information technology 2008. In 2006, the Iranian government wiped out the financial debts of all universities in a bid to relieve their budget constraints. According to the UNESCO Science Report 2010, most research in Iran is government-funded with the Iranian government providing almost 75% of all research funding. Domestic expenditure on research stood at 0.7% of GDP in 2008 and 0.3% of GDP in 2012. Iranian businesses contributed about 11% of the total in 2008. The government's limited budget is being directed towards supporting small innovative businesses, business incubators and science and technology parks, the type of enterprises which employ university graduates, the share of private businesses in total national R&D funding according to the same report is very low, being just 14%, as compared with Turkey's 48%. The rest of approximately 11% of funding comes from higher education sector and non-profit organizations. A limited number of large enterprises such as IDRO, NIOC, NIPC, DO, Iran Aviation Industries Organization, Iranian Space Agency, Iran Electronics Industries or Iran Kodro have their own in-house R&D capabilities. Topic: <laughs> Funding the transition to a knowledge economy. Vision 2025 foresaw an investment of $3.7 trillion by 2025 to finance the transition to a knowledge economy. It was intended for one-third of this amount to come from abroad but, so far, FDI has remained elusive. It has contributed less than 1% of GDP since 2006 and just 0.5% of GDP in 2014. Within the country's fifth five-year economic development plan 2010 to 2015, a national development fund has been established to finance efforts to diversify the economy. By 2013, the fund was receiving 26% of oil and gas revenue. Much of the $3.7 trillion earmarked in Vision 2025 is to go towards supporting investment in research and development by knowledge-based firms and the commercialization of research results. A law passed in 2010 provides an appropriate mechanism, the Innovation and Prosperity Fund. According to the fund's president, Bazard Soltani, 4,600 billion Iranian rials circa $171.4 million had been allocated to 100 knowledge-based companies by late 2014. Public and private universities wishing to set up private firms may also apply to the fund. Some 37 industries trade shares on the Tehran Stock Exchange. These industries include the petrochemical, automotive, mining, steel, iron, copper, agriculture and telecommunications industries, a unique situation in the Middle East. Most of the companies developing high technologies remain state-owned, including in the automotive and pharmaceutical industries, despite plans to privatize 80% of state-owned companies by 2014. It was estimated in 2014 that the private sector accounted for about 30% of the Iranian pharmaceutical market. The Industrial Development and Renovation Organization (IDRO) controls about 290 state-owned companies. IDRO has set up special purpose companies in each high-tech sector to coordinate investment and business development. These entities are the Life Science Development Company, Information Technology Development Center, Iran Infotech Development Company and the EMAD Semiconductor Company. In 2010, IDRO set up a capital fund to finance the intermediary stages of product and technology-based business development within these companies. Topic. Technology parks. 
As of 2012, Iran had officially 31 science and technology parks nationwide. Furthermore, as of 2014, 36 science and technology parks hosting more than 3,650 companies were operating in Iran. These firms have directly employed more than 24,000 people. According to the Iran Entrepreneurship Association, there are totally 99 parks of science and technology, which operate without official permits. 21 of those parks are located in Tehran and affiliated with University Jihad, Tarbiat Modes University, Tehran University, Ministry of Energy, Iran, Ministry of Health and Medical Education, and Amir Kabir University among others. Fars Province, with eight parks and Razavi Khorasan Province, with seven parks, are ranked second and third after Tehran respectively. Iran has nearly 3,000 knowledge-based companies in 2016. Topic innovation As of 2004, Iran's National Innovation System NIS, had not experienced a serious entrance to the technology creation phase and mainly exploited the technologies developed by other countries, e.g., in the petrochemicals industry. In 2016, Iran ranked second in the percentage of graduates in science and engineering in the Global Innovation Index. Iran also ranked fourth in tertiary education, 26 in knowledge creation, 31 in gross percentage of tertiary enrollment, 41 in general infrastructure, 48 in human capital as well as research, and 51 in innovation efficiency ratio. In recent years, several drug makers in Iran are gradually developing the ability to innovate away from generic drugs production itself. According to the State Registration Organization of Deeds and Properties, a total of 9,570 national inventions was registered in Iran during 2008. Compared with the previous year, there was a 38% increase in the number of inventions registered by the organization. Iran has several funds to support entrepreneurship and innovation, Innovation and Flourishing, Prosperity Fund of the Directorate of Science and Technology of the Presidential Office, National Researchers and Industrialists Support Fund, Notbegin Technology Development Institute, Nanotechnology Fund, Novan Technology Development Fund, Sharif Export Development Research and Technology Fund, Support Fund of Researchers and Technologists, Payambar Azam, the Great Prophet, Scientific and Technological Award, Student Entrepreneurs Support Fund, plus 6,000 private interest-free funds and three venture capital funds, Shenasa, Samorg and Sarava Paz. See also, Banking in Iran. Topic private sector The Fifth Development Plan 2010 requires the private sector to communicate research needs to universities so that universities would coordinate research projects in line with these needs, with sharing of expenses by both sides. Because of its weakness or absence, the support industry makes little contribution to the innovation, technology development activities. Supporting the development of small and medium enterprises in Iran will strengthen greatly the supplier network. As of 2014, Iran had 930 industrial parks and zones, of which 731 are ready to be ceded to the private sector. The government of Iran has plans for the establishment of 50 to 60 new industrial parks by the end of the fifth five-year socio-economic development plan 2015. A 2003 report by the United Nations Industrial Development Organization regarding small and medium-sized enterprises SMEs identified the following impediments to industrial development, lack of monitoring institutions, inefficient banking system, insufficient research and development, shortage of managerial skills, corruption, inefficient taxation, so socio-cultural apprehensions, absence of social learning loops, shortcomings in international market awareness necessary for global competition, cumbersome bureaucratic procedures, shortage of skilled labor, lack of intellectual property protection, inadequate social capital, social responsibility and socio-cultural values. The economic complexity ranking of Iran has increased by one places over the past 50 years from 66th in 1964 to 65th in 2014. According to UNCTAD in 2016, private companies in Iran need better marketing strategies with emphasis on innovation. Despite these problems, Iran has progressed in various scientific and technological fields, including petrochemical, pharmaceutical, aerospace, defense, and heavy industry. Even in the face of economic sanctions, Iran is emerging as an industrialized country. Parallel to academic research, several companies have been founded in Iran during last few decades. For example, Synergen, established in 1992, is one of the pioneering biotechnology companies in the region. Synergen won Biotechnology Asia 2005 Innovation Awards due to its achievements and innovation in biotechnology research. 
In 2006, Parse Semiconductor Co. announced it had designed and produced a 32-bit computer microprocessor inside the country for the first time. Software companies are growing rapidly. In Sebat 2006, 10 Iranian software companies introduced their products. Iran's National Foundation for Computer Games unveiled the country's first online video game in 2010, capable of supporting up to 5,000 users at the same time. Topic. Science in modern Iran Theoretical and computational sciences are highly developed in Iran. Despite the limitations in funds, facilities, and international collaborations, Iranian scientists have been very productive in several experimental fields such as pharmacology, pharmaceutical chemistry, and organic and polymer chemistry. Iranian biophysicists, especially molecular biophysicists, have gained international reputation since the 1990s. High Field Nuclear Magnetic Resonance Facility, Microcalorimetry, Circular Dichroism, and instruments for single protein channel studies have been provided in Iran during the past two decades. Tissue engineering and research on biomaterials have just started to emerge in biophysics departments. Considering the country's brain drain and its poor political relationship with the United States and some other Western countries, Iran's scientific community remains productive, even while economic sanctions make it difficult for universities to buy equipment or to send people to the United States to attend scientific meetings. Furthermore, Iran considers scientific backwardness, as one of the root causes of political and military bullying by developed countries over developing states. After the Iranian Revolution, there have been efforts by the religious scholars to assimilate Islam with modern science and this is seen by some as the reason behind the recent successes of Iran to augment its scientific output. Currently Iran aims for a national goal of self-sustainment in all scientific arenas. Many individual Iranian scientists, along with the Iranian Academy of Medical Sciences and Academy of Sciences of Iran, are involved in this revival. The comprehensive scientific plan has been devised based on about 51,000 pages of documents and includes 224 scientific projects that must be implemented by the year 2025. Topic: Medical Sciences. With over 400 medical research facilities and 76 medical magazine indexes available in the country, Iran is the 19th country in medical research and is set to become the 10th within 10 years 2012. Clinical sciences are invested in highly in Iran. In areas such as rheumatology, hematology, and bone marrow transplantation, Iranian medical scientists publish regularly. The Hematology, Oncology and Bone Marrow Transplantation Research Center HORC of Tehran University of Medical Sciences in Shariati Hospital was established in 1991. Internationally, this center is one of the largest bone marrow transplantation centers and has carried out a large number of successful transplantations. According to a study conducted in 2005, Associated Specialized Pediatric Hematology and Oncology services exist in almost all major cities throughout the country, where 43 board-certified or eligible pediatric hematologist oncologists are giving care to children suffering from cancer or hematological disorders. Three children's medical centers at universities have approved FO fellowship programs. Besides hematology, gastroenterology has recently attracted many talented medical students. The Gastroenterology Research Center based at Tehran University of Medical Sciences has produced increasing numbers of scientific publications since its establishment. Modern organ transplantation in Iran dates to 1935, when the first cornea transplant in Iran was performed by Professor Mohammad Shams at Farabi I Hospital in Tehran, Iran. The Shiraz Namazi Transplant Center, also one of the pioneering transplant units of Iran, performed the first Iranian kidney transplant in 1967 and the first Iranian liver transplant in 1995. The first heart transplant in Iran was performed in 1993 in Tabriz. The first lung transplant was performed in 2001, and the first heart and lung transplants were performed in 2002, both at Tehran University of Medical Sciences. Iran developed the first artificial lung in 2009 to join five other countries in the world that possess such technology. Currently, renal, liver, and heart transplantations are routinely performed in Iran. Iran ranks fifth in the world in kidney transplants. 
the Iranian Tissue Bank, commencing in 1994, was the first multi-facility tissue bank in country. In June 2000, the Organ Transplantation Brain Death Act was approved by the Parliament, followed by the establishment of the Iranian Network for Transplantation Organ Procurement. This act helped to expand heart, lung, and liver transplantation programs. By 2003, Iran had performed 131 liver, 77 heart, 7 lung, 211 bone marrow, 20,581 cornea, and 16,859 renal transplantations. 82% of these were donated by living and unrelated donors, 10% by cadavers, and 8% came from living related donors. The three-year renal transplant patient survival rate was 92.9%, and the 40-month graft survival rate was 85.9%. Neuroscience is also emerging in Iran. A few PhD programs in cognitive and computational neuroscience have been established in the country during recent decades. Iran ranks first in Mideastan region in ophthalmology. Iranian surgeons treating wounded Iranian veterans during the Iran Iraq War invented a new neurosurgical treatment for brain injured patients that laid to rest the previously prevalent technique developed by U.S. Army surgeon Dr. Ralph Munslow. This new surgical procedure helped devise new guidelines that have decreased death rates for comatose patients with penetrating brain injuries from 55% of 1980 to 20% of 2010. It has been said that these new treatment guidelines benefited U.S. Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords who had been shot in the head. Topic biotechnology Iran has a biotechnology sector that is one of the most advanced in the developing world. The Razi Institute for Serums and Vaccines and the Pasteur Institute of Iran are leading regional facilities in the development and manufacture of vaccines. In January 1997, the Iranian Biotechnology Society IBS was created to oversee biotechnology research in Iran. Agricultural research has been successful in releasing high-yielding varieties with higher stability as well as tolerance to harsh weather conditions. The agriculture researchers are working jointly with international institutes to find the best procedures and genotypes to overcome produce failure and to increase yield. In 2005, Iran's first genetically modified GM rice was approved by national authorities and is being grown commercially for human consumption. In addition to GM rice, Iran has produced several GM plants in the laboratory, such as insect-resistant maize, cotton, potatoes and sugar beets, herbicide-resistant canola, salinity and drought-tolerant wheat, and blight-resistant maize and wheat. The Royal Institute engineered Iran's first cloned animal. The sheep was born on the 2nd of August 2006 and passed the critical first 2 months of his life. In the last months of 2006, Iranian biotechnologists announced that they as the third manufacturer in the world have sent Sinovex, a recombinant type of interferon B1A to the market. According to a study by David Morrison and Ali Kadam Hosseini, Harvard MIT in Cambridge, stem cell research in Iran is amongst the top 10 in the world. Iran will invest $2.5 billion in the country's stem cell research over the next five years 2008 to 2013. Iran ranks second in world in transplantation of stem cells. In 2010, Iran began mass producing ocular bio implants named SAMT. Iran began investing in biotechnological projects in 1992, and this is the tenth facility in Iran. LifePatch is the fourth bio implant mass produced by Iran after bone, heart valve, and tendon bio implants. Twelve countries in the world produce biotech drugs, among which Iran is one of them. According to Scopus, Iran ranked 21st in biotechnology by producing nearly 4,000 related scientific articles in 2014. In 2010, Ariogen Biopharma established the biggest and most modern knowledge-based facility for production of therapeutic monoclonal antibodies in the region. As at 2012, Iran produced 15 types of monoclonal, antibody drugs. These anti-cancer drugs are now produced by only two to three Western companies. In 2015, Norgan Company established as first officially registered CRO and CMO in Iran. Norgan uses the concept of CMO and CRO servicing to the biopharma sector of Iran as its main activity to fill the gap and promote developing biotech ideas, products toward commercialization. Topic. Physics and materials Iran had some significant successes in nuclear technology during recent decades, especially in nuclear medicine. However, little connection exists between Iran's scientific society and that of the nuclear program of Iran. 
Iran is the seventh country in production of uranium hexafluoride or UF6. Iran now controls the entire cycle for producing nuclear fuel. Iran is among the 14 countries in possession of nuclear energy technology. In 2009, Iran was developing its first domestic linear particle accelerator LINAC. It is among the few countries in the world that has the technology to produce zirconium alloys. Iran produces a wide range of lasers in demand within the country in medical and industrial fields. In 2011, Iranian scientists at the Atomic Energy Organization of Iran AEOI, have designed and built a nuclear fusion device, named IRIECF. Iran is the sixth country with such technology. Topic. Computer science, electronics and robotics The Center of Excellence in Design, Robotics, and Automation was established in 2001 to promote educational and research activities in the fields of design, robotics, and automation. Besides these professional groups, several robotics groups work in Iranian high schools. Sorina II, robot, which was designed by engineers at University of Tehran, was unveiled in 2010. The robot can be used for handling sensitive tasks without the need for cooperating with human beings. The robot is taking slow steps similar to human beings, harmonious movements of hands and feet and other movements similar to humans. Next the researchers plan to develop speech and vision capabilities and greater intelligence for this robot. The Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers IEEE, has placed the name of Serena among the five prominent robots of the world after analyzing its performance. In 2010, Iranian researchers have, for the first time in the country, developed 10 robots for the nation's automotive industry using domestic know-how. Ultra-fast microprocessors research center in Tehran's Amirkabir University of Technology successfully built a supercomputer in 2007. Maximum processing capacity of the supercomputer is 860 billion operations per second. Iran's first supercomputer launched in 2001 was also fabricated by Amir Kabir University of Technology. In 2009, a SUS Linux-based HPC system made by the Aerospace Research Institute of Iran was launched with 32 cores and now runs 96 cores. Its performance was pegged at 192 gigaflops. Iran's national supercomputer made by Iran Infotech Development Company a subsidiary of IDRO was built from 216 AMD processors. The Linux cluster machine has a reported theoretical peak performance of 860 gig flops. The Routalab team at the University of Tehran successfully designed and implemented an access router RAHYAB300 and a 40 gigabits per second high capacity switch fabric UTS. In 2011 Amir Kabir University of Technology and Isfahan University of Technology produced two new supercomputers with processing capacity of 34,000 billion operations per second. The supercomputer at Amir Kabir University of Technology is expected to be among the 500 most powerful computers in the world. Topic chemistry and nanotechnology In 2007, Iranian scientists at the Medical Sciences and Technology Center succeeded in mass producing an advanced scanning microscope, the Scanning Tunneling Microscope STM. By 2017, Iran ranked fourth in ISI Index Nano Articles. Iran has designed and mass produced more than 35 kinds of advanced nanotechnology devices. These include laboratory equipment, antibacterial strings, power station filters and construction-related equipment and materials. Research in nanotechnology has taken off in Iran since the Nanotechnology Initiative Council NIC, was founded in 2002. The council determines the general policies for the development of nanotechnology and coordinates their implementation. It provides facilities, creates markets and helps the private sector to develop relevant R&D activities. In the past decade, 143 nanotech companies have been established in eight industries. More than one quarter of these are found in the healthcare industry, compared to just 3% in the automotive industry. Today, five research centers specialize in nanotechnology, including the Nanotechnology Research Center at Sharif University, which established Iran's first doctoral program in nanoscience and nanotechnology a decade ago. Iran also hosts the International Center on Nanotechnology for Water Purification, established in collaboration with UNIDO in 2012. 
In 2008, Nick established an Econano network to promote the scientific and industrial development of nanotechnology among fellow members of the Economic Cooperation Organization, namely Afghanistan, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Pakistan, Tajikistan, Turkey, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan. Iran recorded strong growth in the number of articles on nanotechnology between 2009 and 2013, according to Thomson Reuters Web of Science. By 2013, Iran ranked seventh for this indicator. The number of articles per million population has tripled to 59, overtaking Japan in the process. Few patents are being granted to Iranian inventors in nanotechnology, as yet, however. The ratio of nanotechnology patents to articles was 0.41 per 100 articles for Iran in 2015. Topic. Aviation and space On 17 August 2008, the Iranian Space Agency proceeded with the second test launch of a three-stages Safir SLV from a site south of Semnan in the northern part of the Dasht-e Kavir Desert. The Safir Ambassador satellite carrier successfully launched the OMAD satellite into orbit in February 2009. Iran is the ninth country to put a domestically built satellite into orbit since the Soviet Union launched the first in 1957. Iran is among a handful of countries in the world capable of developing satellite-related technologies, including satellite navigation systems. Iran's first astronaut will be sent into space on board an Iranian shuttle by 2019. Iran is also the sixth country to send animals in space. Iran is one of the few countries capable of producing 20 to 25 ton sea patrol aircraft. In 2013, Iran constructed its first hypersonic wind tunnel for testing missiles and doing aerospace research. Iran is the eighth country capable of manufacturing jet engines. Topic: <inaudible> Astronomy. <inaudible> 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 The Iranian government has committed 150 billion rials roughly 16 million US dollars for a telescope, an observatory, and a training program, all part of a plan to build up the country's astronomy base. Iran wants to collaborate internationally and become internationally competitive in astronomy, says the University of Michigan's Karl Akalov, an advisor to the Iranian project. For a government that is usually characterized as wary of foreigners, that's an important development. In July 2010, Iran unveiled its largest domestically manufactured telescope dubbed Tara. In 2016, Iran unveiled its new optical telescope for observing celestial objects as part of APSCO. It will be used to understand and predict the physical location of natural and man-made objects in orbit around the Earth. Topic: <inaudible> Energy <inaudible> Iran has achieved the technical expertise to set up hydroelectric, gas and combined cycle power plants. Iran is among the four world countries that are capable of manufacturing advanced V94.2 gas turbines. Iran is able to produce all the parts needed for its gas refineries and is now the third country in the world to have developed gas to liquids GTL technology. Iran produces 70% of its industrial equipment domestically including various turbines, pumps, catalysts, refineries, oil tankers, oil rigs, offshore platforms and exploration instruments. Iran is among the few countries that has reached the technology and know-how for drilling in the deep waters. Iran's indigenously designed Darkoven nuclear power plant is scheduled to come online in 2016. Topic. Armaments Iran possesses the technology to launch superfast anti-submarine rockets that can travel at the speed of 100 meters per second underwater, making the country second only to Russia in possessing the technology. Iran is among the five countries in the world to have developed ammunitions with laser targeting technology. Iran is among the few countries that possess the technological know-how of the unmanned aerial vehicles UAV fitted with scanning and reconnaissance systems. Iran is among the 12 countries with missile technology and advanced mobile air defense systems. Over the past years, Iran has made important breakthroughs in its defense sector and attained self-sufficiency in producing important military equipment and systems. 
Since 1992, it also has produced its own tanks, armored personnel carriers, sophisticated radars, guided missiles, a submarine, and fighter planes. Topic scientific collaboration Iran annually hosts international science festivals. The International Karazmi Festival in Basic Science and the annual Razi Medical Sciences Research Festival promote original research in science, technology, and medicine in Iran. There is also an ongoing R&D collaboration between large state-owned companies and the universities in Iran. Iranians welcome scientists from all over the world to Iran for a visit and participation in seminars or collaborations. Many Nobel laureates and influential scientists such as Bruce Alberts, F. Sherwood Rowland, Kurt Wuthrich, Stephen Hawking, and Pierre-Gilles de Gennes visited Iran after the Iranian Revolution. Some universities also hosted American and European scientists as guest lecturers during recent decades. Although sanctions have caused a shift in Iran's trading partners from west to east, scientific collaboration has remained largely oriented towards the west. Between 2008 and 2014, Iran's top partners for scientific collaboration were the USA, Canada, the UK and Germany, in that order. Iranian scientists co-authored almost twice as many articles with their counterparts in the USA 6, as with their next closest collaborators in Canada 3, and the UK 3, Iranian and US scientists have collaborated on a number of projects. Malaysia is Iran's fifth closest collaborator in science and India ranks 10th, after Australia, France, Italy and Japan. One quarter of Iranian articles had a foreign co-author in 2014, a stable proportion since 2002. Scientists have been encouraged to publish in international journals in recent years, a policy that is in line with Vision 2025. The volume of scientific articles authored by Iranians in international journals has augmented considerably since 2005, according to Thomson Reuters' Web of Science, Science Citation Index Expanded. Iranian scientists now publish widely in international journals in engineering and chemistry, as well as in life sciences and physics. Women contribute about 13% of articles, with a focus on chemistry, medical sciences and social sciences. Contributing to this trend is the fact that PhD programs in Iran now require students to have publications in the web of science. Iran has submitted a formal request to participate in a project which is building an international thermonuclear experimental reactor ITER, in France by 2018. This megaproject is developing nuclear fusion technology to lay the groundwork for tomorrow's nuclear fusion power plants. The project involves the European Union, China, India, Japan, Republic of Korea, Russian Federation and USA. A team from ITER visited Iran in November 2016 to deepen its understanding of Iran's fusion related programs. Iran hosts several international research centers, including the following established between 2010 and 2014 under the auspices of the United Nations the Regional Center for Science Park and Technology Incubator Development, UNESCO, EST, 2010, the International Center on Nanotechnology, UNIDO, EST. 2012 and the Regional Educational and Research Center for Oceanography for Western Asia UNESCO, EST. 2014, Iran is stepping up its scientific collaboration with developing countries. In 2008, Iran's Nanotechnology Initiative Council established an Econano network to promote the scientific and industrial development of nanotechnology among fellow members of the Economic Cooperation Organization, namely Afghanistan, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Pakistan, Tajikistan, Turkey, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan. The Regional Center for Science Park and Technology Incubator Development is also initially targeting these same countries. It is offering them policy advice on how to develop their own science parks and technology incubators. Iran is an active member of COMSTECH and collaborates on its international projects. The coordinator general of COMSTECH, Dr. Atayur Rahman, has said that Iran is the leader in science and technology among Muslim countries and hoped for greater cooperation with Iran in different international technological and industrialization projects. Iranian scientists are also helping to construct the compact muon solenoid, a detector for the Large Hadron Collider of the European Organization for Nuclear Research CERN, that is due to come online in 2008. Iranian engineers are involved in the design and construction of the first regional particle accelerator of the Middle East in Jordan, called Sesame. Since the lifting of international sanctions, Iran has been developing scientific and educational links with Kuwait, Switzerland, Italy, Germany, China and Russia.
Topic contribution of Iranians and people of Iranian origin to modern science Scientists with an Iranian background have made significant contributions to the international scientific community. In 1960, Ali Javan invented first gas laser. In 1973, the fuzzy set theory was developed by Lotfi Zadeh. Iranian cardiologist Tofi Musavand invented the first artificial heart and afterwards developed it further. HbA1c was discovered by Samuel Rabar and introduced to the medical community. The VAFA Witten theorem was proposed by Qumran VAFA, an Iranian string theorist, and his co worker Edward Witten. The Carter Parisi Zhang KPZ equation has been named after Miran Carter, notable Iranian physicist. Other notable discoveries and innovations by Iranian scientists and engineers or of Iranian origin include, Karim Nayernia, discovery of spermatogonial stem cells Reza Gadiri, 1998 Feynman Prize for invention of a self-organized replicating molecular system Mehdi Vaez Irivani, invention of shear force microscopy Siavish Alamuti and Vahid Tariq, invention of space-time block code Shirin Degan, 2006 Women in Technology Award Nader Engerta, inventor of invisibility shield, plasmonic cover, and Research Leader of the Year 2006, Scientific American Magazine, and winner of a Guggenheim Fellowship 1999 for Fractional Paradigm of Classical Electrodynamics. Ali Safarinili, co-inventor of Mars Advanced Radar for Subsurface and Ionosphere Sounding MARSIS, Pierre Omidyar, economist, founder and chairman of eBay Rusbe Yassini, inventor of the cable modem Homoyun Saraji, most published author in the 20-year history of the Journal of Robotic Systems, declared in 2007. Muslim Bahadori, reported the first case of plasma cell granuloma of the lung. Muhammad Abdullahi, the laureate of IASCOMSTECH 2005 Prize in the field of Pharmacology and Toxicology and an IAS Fellow. MA is ranked as an international top 1% outstanding scientists of the world in the field of Pharmacology and Toxicology according to Essential Science Indicator from USA Thomson Reuters ISI. An award named Muhammad Abdullahi Prize has been established by Asian Network for Scientific Information and Science Alert Publishing Company and the International Journal of Pharmacology in the recognition of MA efforts in the field of pharmacology and toxicology. MA is also known as one of outstanding leading scientists of OIC member countries. Maysam Govanlu, inventor of tongue drive wheelchair. Mansur Ahmadian and Gila Nazari, developers of PARS, parallel application from rapid simulation, which won the IET Innovation Award 2008 in software design Mohamed Nabi Sabaluki, invention of dendrosome Shekufa Nikfair, the awardee of the top women scientists by TWAS TWOWS Scopus in the field of medicine in 2009. Afsane Rabie, inventor of an ultra-strong and lightweight material, known as composite metal foam, CMF. Mayim Mirzakhani, in August 2014, Mirzakhani became the first ever woman, as well as the first ever Iranian, to receive the Fields Medal, the highest prize in mathematics. Rahman Golistanian, in August 2014, Rahman Golistanian won the Holweck Prize for his research work in physics. <laughs> <laughs> International rankings According to Scopus, Iran ranked 17th in terms of science production in the world in 2012 with the production of 34,155 articles above Switzerland and Turkey. According to the Institute for Scientific Information ISI, Iran increased its academic publishing output nearly tenfold from 1996 to 2004, and has been ranked first globally in terms of output growth rate followed by China with a threefold increase. In comparison, the only G8 countries in top 20 ranking with fastest performance improvement are Italy at 10th and Canada at 13th globally. Iran, China, India and Brazil are the only developing countries among 31 nations with 97.5% of the world's total scientific productivity. The remaining 162 developing countries contribute less than 2.5% of the world's scientific output. Despite the massive improvement from 0.0003% of the global scientific output in 1970 to 0.29% in 2003, still Iran's total share in the world's total output remains small. According to Thomson Reuters, Iran has demonstrated a remarkable growth in science and technology over the past one decade, increasing its science and technology output fivefold from 2000 to 2008. 
Most of this growth has been in engineering and chemistry producing 1.4% of the world's total output in the period 2004 to 2008. By year 2008, Iranian science and technology output accounted for 1.02% of the world's total output that is approximately 340,000% growth in 37 years of 1970 to 2008, 25% of scientific articles published in 2008 by Iran were international co-authorships. The top five countries co-authoring with Iranian scientists are US, UK, Canada, Germany and France. A 2010 report by Canadian research firm Science Metrics has put Iran in the top rank globally in terms of growth in scientific productivity with a 14.4 growth index followed by South Korea with a 9.8 growth index. Iran's growth rate in science and technology is 11 times more than the average growth of the world's output in 2009 and in terms of total output per year, Iran has already surpassed the total scientific output of countries like Sweden, Switzerland, Israel, Belgium, Denmark, Finland, Austria or that of Norway. Iran with a science and technology yearly growth rate of 25% is doubling its total output every three years and at this rate will reach the level of Canadian annual output in 2017. The report further notes that Iran's scientific capability buildup has been the fastest in the past two decades and that this buildup is in part due to the Iraqi invasion of Iran, the subsequent bloody Iran-Iraq war and Iran's high casualties due to the international sanctions in effect on Iran as compared to the international support Iraq enjoyed. The then technologically superior Iraq and its use of chemical weapons on Iranians, made Iran to embark on a very ambitious science developing program by mobilizing scientists in order to offset its international isolation, and this is most evident in the country's nuclear sciences advancement, which has in the past two decades grown by 8,400% as compared to the 34% for the rest of the world. This report further predicts that though Iran's scientific advancement as a response to its international isolation may remain a cause of concern for the world, all the while it may lead to a higher quality of life for the Iranian population but simultaneously and paradoxically will also isolate Iran even more because of the world's concern over Iran's technological advancements. Other findings of the report point out that the fastest growing sectors in Iran are physics, public health sciences, engineering, chemistry and mathematics. Overall the growth has mostly occurred after 1980 and specially has been becoming faster since 1991 with a significant acceleration in 2002 and an explosive surge since 2005. It has been argued that scientific and technological advancement besides the nuclear program is the main reason for United States worry about Iran, which may become a superpower in the future. Some in Iranian scientific community see sanctions as a Western conspiracy to stop Iran's rising rank in modern science and allege that some Western countries want to monopolize modern technologies. As per U.S. government report on science and engineering titled Science and Engineering Indicators, 2010, prepared by National Science Foundation, Iran has the world's highest growth rate in science and engineering article output with an annual growth rate of 25.7%. The report is introduced as a factual and policy neutral, volume of record comprising the major high quality quantitative data on the US and international science and engineering enterprise. This report also notes that the very rapid growth rate of Iran inside a wider region was led by its growth in scientific instruments, pharmaceuticals, communications and semiconductors. The subsequent National Science Foundation report published in 2012 by U.S. government under the name Science and Engineering Indicators, 2012, had put Iran first globally in terms of growth in science and engineering article output in the first decade of this millennium with an annual growth rate of 25.2%. The latest updated National Science Foundation report published in 2014 by U.S. government titled Science and Engineering Indicators 2014, has again ranked Iran first globally in terms of growth in science and engineering article output at an annualized growth rate of 23.0% with 25% of Iran's output having been produced through international collaboration. Iran ranked 49th for citations, 42nd for papers, and 135th for citations per paper in 2005. Their publication rate in international journals has quadrupled during the past decade. Although it is still low compared with the developed countries, this puts Iran in the first rank of Islamic countries. According to a British government study, 2002, Iran ranked 30th in the world in terms of scientific impact. 
According to a report by SJR, a Spanish-sponsored scientific data data, Iran ranked 25th in the world in scientific publications by volume in 2007, a huge leap from the rank of 40 few years before. As per the same source, Iran ranked 20th and 17th by total output in 2010 and 2011 respectively. In 2008 report by Institute for Scientific Information ISI, Iran ranked 32, 46 and 56 in chemistry, physics and biology respectively among all science-producing countries. Iran ranked 15th in 2009 in the field of nanotechnology in terms of presenting articles. ScienceWatch reported in 2008 that Iran has the world's highest growth rate for citations in medical, environmental and ecological sciences. According to the same source, Iran during the period 2005 to 2009 had produced 1.71% of world's total engineering papers, 1.68% of world's total chemistry papers and 1.19% of world's total material sciences papers. According to the sixth report on International Comparative Performance of UK Research Base prepared in September 2009 by Britain-based research firm Evidence and Department for Business, Innovation and Skills, Iran has increased its total output from 0.13% of world's output in 1999 to almost 1% of world's output in 2008. As per the same report Iran had doubled its biological sciences and health research output in just two years 2006 to 2008. The report further notes that Iran by 2008 had increased its output in physical sciences by as much as 10 times in 10 years and its share in world's total output had reached 1.3%, comparing with US share of 20% and Chinese share of 18%. Similarly Iran's engineering output had grown to 1.6% of the world's output being greater than Belgium or Sweden and just smaller than Russia's output at 1.8%. During the period 1999 to 2008, Iran improved its science impact from 0.66 to 1.07 above the world's average of 0.7 similar to Singapore's. In engineering Iran improved its impact and is already ahead of India, South Korea and Taiwan in engineering research performance. By 2008, Iran's share of most cited top 1% of world's papers was 0.25% of the world's total. As per French government report, L'Observatoire des Sciences et des Techniques OST, 2010. Iran had the world's fastest growth rate in scientific article output between 2003 and 2008 period at plus 219%, producing 0.8% of the world's total material sciences knowledge output in 2008, the same as Israel. The fastest growing scientific field in Iran was medical sciences at 344% and the slowest growth was of chemistry at 128% with the growth for other fields being biology 342%, ecology 298%, physics 182%, basic sciences 285%, engineering 235% and mathematics at 255%. As per the same report among the countries that produced less than 2% of the world's science and technology, only Iran, Turkey and Brazil had the most dynamic growth in the scientific output, with Turkey and Brazil having a growth rate above 40% and Iran above 200% compared with South Korea and Taiwan growth rates at 31% and 37% respectively. Iran also was among the countries whose scientific visibility was growing fastest in the world such as China, Turkey, India and Singapore though all growing from a low visibility base. According to the latest updated French government report, L'Observatoire des Sciences et des Techniques OST, 2014. Iran had the world's fastest growth rate in scientific production output in the period between 2002 and 2012, having increased its share of world's total scientific output by plus 682% in the said period, producing 1.4% of world's total science and ranking 18th globally in terms of its total scientific output. Meanwhile, Iran also ranks first globally for having increased its share in the world's high impact top 10% publications by plus 1,338% between 2002 and 2012 and similarly ranks first globally as well for increasing its global scientific visibility through having its share of international citations increased by plus 996% in the above period. 
Iran also ranks first globally in this report for the growth rate in scientific production of individual fields by having increased its science output in biology by plus 1,286%, in medicine by plus 900%, in applied biology and ecology by plus 816%, in chemistry by plus 356%, in physics by plus 577%, in space sciences by plus 947%, in engineering sciences by plus 7 196% and in mathematics by plus 556%. A bibliometric analysis of Middle East was released by professional division of Thomson Reuters in 2011 titled, Global Research Report Middle East, comparing scientific research in Middle Eastern countries with that of the world for the first decade of this century. The study findings rank Iran at second position after Turkey in terms of total scientific output with Turkey producing 1.9% of the world's total science output while Iran's share of world's total science output was at 1.3%. Total scientific output of 14 countries surveyed including Bahrain, Egypt, Iran, Iraq, Jordan, Kuwait, Lebanon, Oman, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Syria, Turkey, United Arab Emirates and Yemen was just 4% of the world's total output, with Turkey and Iran producing the bulk of scientific research in the region. In terms of growth in scientific research, Iran was ranked first with 650% increase of its share in world's output and Turkey second with a growth of 270%. Turkey increased its research publication rate from 5,000 papers in year 2000 to nearly 22,000 in the year 2009, while Iran's research publication started from a lower point of 1,300 papers in year 2000 and grew to 15,000 papers in the year 2009 with a notable surge in Iranian growth after year 2004. In terms of production of highly cited papers, 1.7% of all Iranian papers in mathematics and 1.3% of papers in engineering fields attained highly cited status defined as most cited top 1% of world's publications, exceeding the world's average in citation impact for those fields. Overall Iran produces 0.48% of the world's highly cited output in all fields just about half of what would be expected for parity at 1%. Comparative figures for other countries following Iran in the region are, Turkey producing 0.37% of the world's highly cited papers, Jordan 0.28%, Egypt 0.26% and Saudi Arabia 0.25%. External scientific collaboration accounted for 21% of the total research projects undertaken by researchers in Iran with largest collaborators being United States at 4.3%, United Kingdom at 3.3%, Canada 3.1%, Germany 1.7% and Australia at 1.6%. In 2011, world's oldest scientific society and Britain's leading academic institution, the Royal Society in collaboration with Elsevier published a study named Knowledge, Networks and Nations, surveying global scientific landscape. According to this survey Iran has the world's fastest growth rate in science and technology. During the period 1996-2008, Iran had increased its scientific output by 18 folds. As per WIPO's report titled, World Intellectual Property Indicators 2013. Iran ranked 90th for patents generated by Iranian nationals all over the world, 100th in industrial design and 82nd in trademarks, positioning Iran below Jordan and Venezuela in this regard but above Yemen and Jamaica. Topic: <laughs> Iranian journals listed in the Institute for Scientific Information (ISI). According to the Institute for Scientific Information ISI, Iranian researchers and scientists have published a total of 60,979 scientific studies in major international journals in the last 19 years 1990 to 2008. Iran science production growth as measured by the number of publications in science journals is reportedly the fastest in the world, followed by Russia and China respectively 2017-18. 
Acta Medica Iranica Applied Entomology and Phytopathology Archives of Iranian Medicine Daru Journal of Pharmaceutical Sciences Iranian Biomedical Journal Iranian Journal of Biotechnology Iranian Journal of Chemistry and Chemical Engineering Iranian Journal of Fisheries Sciences English Iranian Journal of Plant Pathology Iranian Journal of Science and Technology Iranian Polymer Journal Iranian Journal of Public Health Iranian Journal of Pharmaceutical Research Iranian Journal of Reproductive Medicine Iranian Journal of Veterinary Medicine Iranian Journal of Fuzzy Systems Systems Journal of Entomological Society of Iran Plant Pests and Diseases Research Institute Insect Taxonomy Research Department Publication The Journal of the Iranian Chemical Society Rostenia Botanical Journal of Iran Topic. See also Topic. General Higher education in Iran List of Iranian research centers List of contemporary Iranian scientists, scholars, and engineers modern era. List of Iranian scientists Economy of Iran Industry of Iran Iran's brain drain International rankings of Iran Intellectual movements in Iran Base isolation from Iran Science in newly industrialized countries Composite Index of National Capability Islamic Golden Age Persian Philosophy Topic. Prominent organizations Institute of Standards and Industrial Research of Iran Atomic Energy Organization of Iran Iranian Space Agency Iranian Chemists Association the Physical Society of Iran HORCSCT Iranian Research Organization for Science and Technology Iran National Science Foundation Topic. Sources This article incorporates text from a free content work. Licensed under CC by SA Ego 3.0 UNESCO Science Report, Towards 2030, 387-409 UNESCO, UNESCO Publishing. To learn how to add open license text to Wikipedia articles, please see Wikipedia, Adding Open License Text to Wikipedia. For information on reusing text from Wikipedia, please see the terms of use.